Welcome to More Gaming Fans. I'm your host, Joe Zamora here, and I'm bringing you week one of the PML Doubles Draft. We have our opponent here, Juhu, or Joho, or jo Johu, or whatever he decides to be called. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. And um, good luck, have fun, because this is going to be a very rocky start. Uh, he's got Lipert and Magmortar. I'm sure he's going to uh, Thunder Wave us. But um, I'm going to go ahead and go Max Resonance. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and Rock Slide as well. I do see the Thunder Wave coming off here. But we're going to go ahead and Dynamax right away. We are weakness policy set. So if he decides to Thunderbolt or Brick Break or anything of the sorts like that. Hey Sailor Stitch, welcome to the stream. Everything's good here, Eddie, and we're gonna try to win us um, this thing right here. Okay, so he gave us a eject button and swapped for our weakness policy. Mag Mortar and Lipard both take a pretty good uh, Oh, and Jake Policy is gonna take out our Dynamax, so it's pretty much wasted for the battle. We didn't even get to get up Veil. <laughs> well, that sucks. But, it's not the end. It's not the end. We're going to go ahead and go Punk Rock here. And a shiny Punk Rock it is. Oh, and our Flame Orb goes off right away. Which is beautiful. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go for the... I'm going to go for the facade here into the Lipard, and uh, I'm going to rock slide again. I feel the Thunder Wave coming off this time for sure. Good set there with the, uh, with the uh, trick. Didn't see it coming, honestly. Man, would have been nice if I could have got the flinch, right? <laughs> but, uh... He might make a switch here, but I doubt it. Okay, so follow me. Um, Thunder Wave probably. Oh no, he's attacking here. So it's not a Thunder Wave set. So Magmortar's going to go ahead and go down here. Even with the follow me. That's I was hitting both anyway. And Lipard goes for foul play. Straight into Petrie, but uh, we're fine there. Punk Rock goes for Facade. And takes that thing down. So we are... Um, we have all our Pokemon, but we have lost our Dynamax. He has four Pokemon, but he still has access to Dynamax, and I'm pretty sure it's for that Metagross. So we'll just see how uh, how we end up making this turn out for us. He has two Prankstermon, so it's definitely an interesting battle for sure. He has Porygon Z and Grimmsnarl. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go for the... Uh, the parting shot into Porygon Z, because I feel like he's going to max that thing. And uh, I'm going to Toxic it as well. Okay, so he is Dynamaxing here. So Porygon Z is about to go on a rampage. But it makes um It makes uh Metagross a lot easier to deal with knowing it won't be Dynamaxed. Not saying it's gonna be easy to take down, but knowing that it's not gonna be at full force does help a little bit. So we do get the toxic and the poison off on it. I'm not going to go Lumiere. He, he might go Max Striker, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Nessie instead. I don't want to get uh, a surprise Shadow Ball straight into uh, where that was going to go. So Max Strike was predictable, but it's fine. 
I didn't want to risk it. Plus, Nessie was mostly here to get the veil up and uh, weakness policy hit stuff. And we didn't get that off anyway. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and just hit Blizzard. And um, Grimstone is probably going to go for another Sucker Punch here, so I'm just going to get a Toxic off on that thing. Definitely don't want it to get a, a Sucker Punch free kill off. We at least want to get a Toxic off and get some residual damage. He might predict it and go Metagross here, but um, I'm okay with that. Oregon Z goes for the Max Lightning, but we have a Wakan Berry. Not that it's going to help us too much. Alright, so Petrie's not going to get his, uh, what do you call it? <coughs> Petrie's not going to get his, uh, Toxic off on the Grimmsnarl. Let's see what Grimmsnarl decides to do here. Spirit Break. So he's going to go ahead and try to take out the Lapras. And it doesn't. We hang on. So Nessie's going to go ahead and go for the Blizzard. Misses the Porygon Z, which is not great because we needed that chip damage. But at least we do uh, hit the Grim Snarl there. And now we can go into Jill Frost. Or should we go Punk Rock? Let's go Punk Rock. And get another Parting Shot off. So I'm just going to go Blizzard again and get another Parting Shot off into the Porygon Z. Grimmsnarl goes Reflect, which is fine. I'm not too worried about it. We do have Brick Break. But we're going to go ahead and Parting Shot and go into uh, Chandelier this time. No, should I? Um... Yeah, I'm going to go Lumiere here. I feel the max strike coming. Alright, max strike comes off and doesn't affect Lumiere. So we get that free, that free switch. And Porygon Z is getting chip damage pretty well. Grimstone also gets hit by the Blizzard. So, so far I can't say we're in a bad spot. Okay, so we're just going to keep hitting Blizzard until he knocks us out. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch straight into uh, Punk Rock here. I feel he's going to go for Shadow Ball. So get the clean double switch, hopefully. Grimson all goes for Sucker Punch, probably predicting the... Uh, the hit there and uh nessie avoids the blizzard and uh but we do get hit grimstar avoids oh my goodness blizzard's missing everywhere so punk rock takes some extra damage there um we're just gonna hit blizzard again i mean there's nothing else we could do there and we'll go ahead and Brick Break into the Grim Snarl. It's neutral. Damage. Porygon Z is not going to do much with its uh, attack minus two. And uh, we'll get rid of the screen. And then we can facade next turn. Alright, Porygon Z switches out here. And he goes to Rotom. Rotom Mo. Uh, Grim Snarl goes for the light screen. But we're going for Brick Break, so we'll break both those screens. So Reflect wore off, Light Screen wore off, and Blizzard's coming off. And of course Grim Snarl. Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay, so Nessie's hurting us more than helping us. Uh, we're just going to keep clicking Blizzard though. And we'll go ahead and Facade into Rotom. So Sucker Punch comes off, finally takes down Nessie. 
And hopefully our facade can take out the Rotom. But it might be bulky. Oh, it is bulky. It hangs on with the nasty plot. Alright, what does it decide to do here? We're clearly going uh, Jill Frost here. His Dynamax is gone as well. So we get Hell off. Uh, we should be faster. So I'm going to go for the Freeze Dry. And then I'm going to go for the uh, Brick Break on Grimmsnarl. Because I feel screens are coming. Okay, so Rotom goes uh, Protect here. So our Freeze Dry doesn't go off. We get our Brick Break off, no screens, and gra down goes Grimmsnarl. So, so far, so good. Alright, so Metagross is finally coming in. I'm sure it's clear body, so there's no point in parting shotting it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get Aurora Veil up. And I'm going to uh, facade into Rotom. You know, I'm going to brick break into Rotom just in case Metagross goes screens. But we go ahead and get our Veil up. Rotom goes down, so no nasty plotting for you. And Metagross goes Rock Slide here. It's going to do some good damage to Joe Frost. But nothing to write home about. Alright, so Porygon Z is coming back in. So we're going to Blizzard, and we're going to Parting Shot the Porygon Z. You know what? Let's go ahead and knock off the Metagross. I feel there's no need to make an unnecessary switch here. 100% accuracy Blizzards takes down Porygon Z, which is beautiful. Guts boosted knockoffs gonna take down Metagross. Wow, that was that was an easy knockoff right there. And we defeat Zach. Wow, I am actually legitimately surprised. We get the 4-0 there. Uh, GG to Zach.